What's up, guys? Got Mike back. He's growing his hair out. Give, give me a like for his hair. If you, if you want him to keep it, just l let me know in the comments. If you want him to shave it. <laughs> He's like, no, no, no. <laughs> All right, so today we're gonna look at a collar drag. So uh, I have a cool clip from one of my friends, Isaac Doderline. He's one of the best guys in, at the featherweight class, featherweight weight class. He's won Europeans and I think one of the Grand Slams in Brazil. Super good guy. So he has a really cool lapel drag uh, against Paulo Miao. I'm gonna link here. The lapel drag is so powerful, and he does a really good job of like, man, getting Paulo off balance, and you see Paulo just hits the mat. So uh, that's happened to me before. I've been caught with this move before, and I remember I hit my head, and I was just like, I was okay to keep going, but then the guy, like everybody, was like, okay, just slow down. So you can uh, you can really you can really jack somebody up. So let's look at let's go to the bottom. So I've been doing a lot of collar sleeve guys. I think I have a few videos on this topic. So I'm here and you know, we've done a lot of different sweeps. You know, we did one off De La Hiva if he keeps his elbow to his knee and I just can't keep that foot on the hip. I can either lasso or switch to De La Hiva. And then from here I can off balance and start to sweep him. So sometimes, you know, here you get into a scramble, especially against like a tough guy, you're gonna scramble and it's just like, ugh, you can't get your legs back in. And so that's how we might end up here also, if you're going against maybe like an old, old school guy, uh, so going your knees. So a lot of old school guys will, you see this with like a lot of the Autos guys like Andre Galvan or uh, Jonathan Alves from AOJ. I Like they pass very low and tight because they're trying to avoid uh, stand up. They're trying to avoid like this kind of bolo style. So you'll see a lot of old school passing against this kind of guard. So, you know, I, maybe I want to play De La Hiva or Lasso or something and the guy will go down to both knees. And now you, you see we get into this kind of battle. Okay. So especially, uh, stay there where you were. So especially against a tough guy, maybe the guy wrestled or old school style, or sometimes, you know, uh, Maybe I'm down on points and he's up on points, so he's trying to play very defensive. So that's where you might see the guy do this kind of stuff, all right? So, you know, I, I really like controlling this collar, uh, the sleeve and the collar, but sometimes you're rushed for time and maybe the guy's kind of backing away, start to back away. And so that's how we might end up in this kind of position. So we're just gonna look at some of the basics and I learned a lot of this from my fundamentals class when I was a white belt. <laughs> so you see how it kind of comes full circle Sometimes what's old becomes new, okay? So, you know, people are doing bolos now, but maybe they, they start doing close guard the next year. So jujitsu jiu jiu is very cyclical. It's always something new coming up. So I try to avoid trends as much as possible, but I also study what's going on when I go to tournaments. I'm watching what the new kids are doing. So like right now, a lot of lapel guard, a lot of warm guard, squid guard, all those variations are very popular right now. So, you know, little hint there, you should be working on that stuff. So I'm here, I got this, I have his collar. You know, I can hold the sleeve too, but right now, unless I'm sitting in my guard, I don't really, I really don't have a use for the sleeve as much as the collar, the lapel. So say he's, he's sitting back, he keeps his, his base low, keep your knee down, your knees down, both knees down. Yeah, there, he, he's just not, I'm having trouble sweeping him. So that's how I might find myself in this position. All right, so I'm gonna have Mike stand up. So just some basics of this position. I, I don't wanna stay, completely in front of Mike. I want to maintain one hip on the floor, guys, as much as possible. So it doesn't matter what side I decide to do it on, it's going to more or less correspond with the collar grip. So since I'm going cross body, I want to keep my hip kind of making like a frame, like a wall against his body here, okay? So if I were to grab with the other hand, you see how I keep the same side leg up, okay? So imagine like a technical stand. I've done a few videos with technical stands. So I've done a few videos with technical stands. So a lot of times, you know, whichever hand's uh, framing your head, you keep the same side leg up and then, you, you know, you can step back with the, the free leg. So I'm doing the same thing with this lapel drag. Okay, guys, 
So make sure you have a good base. And whenever I'm doing any type of move where I'm sitting and my opponent standing like this and my legs aren't on him, I want to be careful not to leave my arm extended too much. You might get a flying arm bar or something, you know. There's a few good guys like uh, Bruno Malfacine is really good at that move. A few other guys, you know, sometimes go with a crazy blue belt and they're going <laughs> to crazy blue belt, seen in one too many highlight reels and he's just ready to jump on your arm. So I'm going to keep a slight bend in my arm just in case, just in case. Always be ready, guys. So I'm here. And again, I want to make a frame with my body. So I'm kind of blocking him. OK, so really important. If he keeps going towards my head, walk this way. I use that frame to kind of control him. You know, I can always sit back into my guard, especially like a collar sleeve guard. Uh, you know, that's very man. That's one of my favorite options. OK, I also have like an ankle pick if he keep, if he kind of leans his weight back a little bit too far. Oh, OK, so when I do that ankle pick, I, I did one video in the in Nogi, uh, but I'm going on the same side leg as uh, the lapel grip okay so i'm grabbing with my right arm cross cross body so i need to go on that same side of his body okay and i usually do this if he especially if he tries to break this grip oh ankle pick and i like to keep this grip and knee slice right through there okay so that's a very strong sweep so one thing you'll see a lot is i'm here you know if he keeps circling towards my head look guys i keep walking towards him Again, I can sit towards my guard or I can just maintain this position, okay? Very strong. So what we're trying to do or what we're looking for is the guy to go towards my back. So as soon as he makes any type of movement towards my back, we're gonna drag his head into the mat. So, you know, if you saw the video earlier, Isaac just pulls, he does a lapel drag on Paulo and Paulo hits, <laughs> boom, he hits hard, man. And then at the same time, Isaac was able to grab the, the knee and turn that into a sweep, okay? So I'm here. As soon as Mike steps towards my, my, my back, I'm gonna switch my hips. So my left hip is on the mat. I'm gonna switch my hip. And look, now I'm just gonna drag Mike to the floor. So I'm dragging my arm, my elbow to the, to the mat, okay? Hopefully, you know, your partner is smart and he posts his hands, but look at his leg. Keep, keep your hand down like you had. Look at his leg, it's wide open. So keep pressure on that collar, guys. You know, I have a lot of beginner students, they let go of everything. Guys, keep, keep this grip, this is money. I'm gonna sit up over my chin, grab his, around his thigh, and now I'm, I can either keep driving him down. You know, that's a very powerful move. If he's got a good base, you know, some wrestlers, they don't wanna go down very easy. I can even come up with this, stand up, and then look, I can trip him. <sighs> Chip him down and look, I'm gonna keep my weight on him as long as possible. Try to move Mike. You know, sometimes you gotta hold the guy down, get your two points, and then start your passing sequence, okay? So let's look at that again. Again, this is a basic move, but very powerful. So I'm just gonna start seated, guys, with the cross lapel grip, and I'm on my left hip, grabbing with my right arm. He goes towards my head, that's fine. As soon as he switches, boom. So I have so much power in that drag. From here, I can I could even take his back if he leaves a lot of space between his elbow and his knee. Boom, get, <laughs> get four points, guys. Uh, but typically, I'm gonna land on the side, grab the knee, and I'm gonna keep pushing into him. One thing I like to do a lot is I like to use my forehead on to his belt or rib cage and keep driving him down. And then maybe, you know, Mike's falling down right now. I might even go into like a smash pass, folding pass. Okay. Let me try it again. So I'm here, I got the cross lapel. If he leans back, try to break my grip. Boom, ankle pick all day. He goes towards my head, towards my head, my, my body, other way. He goes towards my head, there. I keep following him. And then as soon as he goes to the other side, I'm gonna switch my hip. So look, I'm still posting off him until I switch my hip, guys. I'm not gonna release now and let him come on top of me. Okay. So I'm keeping that arm. I switch my hip and then I pull. I'm dragging my elbow towards the mat. Boom. I'm gonna sit up over my shin and grab his leg. And then look, I can drive into him. A lot of times I'll use my forehead too. 
just like a ram, like a bull. Boom, take him over. All right. Let's look at that again. Here, we roll a little bit, Mike. Oh, oh you okay? Yeah, <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> and look, I'll keep, sometimes I'll drag the lapel towards me, but if he's really tough, I'll push it away. Sorry, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, knock your, knock your friend out, man. Knock your friend out. All right, so man, super powerful move. And uh, don't underestimate it. Again, this is a move I learned in fundamentals class as a white belt. And it's cool to see, you know, one of my black belt friends using it on one of the best guys in the world, right? So, man, never underestimate some of these old school moves, man. Sometimes I'll do it against like a new kid, young kid. And they're like, man, what is that move? And it'll be some old greasy, <laughs> greasy jujitsu technique, you know, some invisible jujitsu stuff. <laughs> Gracie Pass, like you never know. So, there's some, so many old tricks that you guys haven't seen that haven't been filmed or been lost to time. So I never underestimate those old moves. You know, everyone wants to do what's the trendy move now. But my, my look at it, I look at it as I need to study up on what's happening now, but also be well-rounded and try to remember the old moves. Because sometimes the old moves have really good, they're really good at countering the newer moves. Because the old school is very simple, it was very basic and uh, you know, when you're in a stressful situation, you want to rely on the basic stuff. You don't want to rely on something flashy and crazy. Sometimes you just need like a good base or just good movement, good uh, positioning. So I uh, hope this video helps you guys, man. Super easy, but super powerful. All right. So thanks, Mike. Again, if you guys want Mike to keep his hair, let me know in the comments. <laughs> and until next time, peace out. Peace, peace, peace. And ciao.